Hey guys, it's Jamie. I hope you had a great holidays. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about something that is a newer feature um, that you can use a couple different ways. And I just haven't seen people using it the way, well, in the couple ways that I thought we would also use it. Um, so the feature that I'm talking about is going to be your public link or your public layout for a site. Um, so if you look here, let me find one that I've got it on. Okay, so right here it says get link. That's because I've gone into the more options part and said public layout. Okay, I'll do that on this one just so you can see it. So I'm going to say public layout. So it says change successfully. Now it'll reload the page so that you can actually see the get link button. All right, now you see this get link button right here for this website. So if I click that, it just says copy. What that did is it copied a public link to that layout, meaning if you give that link to somebody, they will actually be able to open your site in an editor. It won't be your exact site, it's a public copy of it. Uh, so first of all, I said public. That means anybody with this link can get access to what you've done on that site. Not what you're currently doing, but a copy of it. But if you have images in there that you don't want other people to have or something, you won't want to do this. Uh, so what I'm, you can use this to share your site, but another way to use this to help is going to be for support. When we're in the, the group and you're asking for help, like how can I move this footer up, or how can I make this box round, or how can I make this picture take up the whole background, um, a lot of times it's going to be easier if you give us the link to your public layout, which allows us to open it in an editor and see what the issue is. And then we can either just tell you the issue or make a video of how we actually change it while editing your site. So it's going to it's gonna be easier to understand because it's your actual site. Instead of us showing you a different site or just talking you through it, we can actually see it all to see the same thing and help. Um, I think with support in the groups, this would help a lot. Um, in the forum, they ask you for your email address so that they can then go and see that, that URL or see those sites and they can look at it. But the rest of us, we don't have that ability to just use your email address to look up your account and see your sites. So you have to share it with us. So I think the public layout with the Git link is a great way to do that. Um, so I said Git link. So now I'll show you. If you go to, I'm going to go to an incognito window here and put that link in. So here it is. You can look at it. It's a link to the actual editor. And if you press enter, Again, I'm not. You're not going to be editing that person's site. You're going to be editing a copy, a public copy of that site. If you want to actually take this site and put it in your list, you have to click save, and, and then you will have it. If you are not a member of Builderall and you open up a, a public editor link such as this, and you try to save, it will then ask you to either sign in if you're already a member or create a new account. Okay, so you can share this with people. Um, I need to do a little more research to find out if there's anything linked to your tier two when you share a public layout like this. Um, if there's not and they create a new account, the tier two person won't get credit for it. If there is, then they will. So I need to make sure and look at that if, as far as sharing the sites that way to get people to sign up, we need to make sure. But for support and issues like that, this is a great way to do it. So I've got this site here. I can do all the normal things you'd be able to do if you were editing any site. I can move everything around. I can edit the text, anything. But it also means I can see what the problem is with this footer down here. Why is it? not doing this or that or why again like how do you make these boxes circles um, so stuff like that yeah, again if I just close it it's gone and that's it no big deal but if I want to I can open it make a video of how I fixed your problem or show you the problem that, that we fixed uh, anyway that's it I don't want to keep it too long it's a really quick easy feature you just need to click on more options public layout and then after it reloads, you can get the link and you can share that with anyone. Remember, if you've got pictures or copy or text or something in there that you don't want everybody to see, you might not want to do this. If you don't mind sharing that stuff so that somebody can help you out, then you may want to use this method. All right, have a great day, guys.